Is that that's the uh, umbilical cord? Oh, oh my god! It looks like he's been starved of oxygen. Like on Total Recall when Arnold Schwarzenegger goes to space. Hey everyone, my name is Mike and welcome back to The Witcher 3. In this video we're going to be doing the end, hopefully finishing this quest, Family Matters, with the Baron. And his family, his, his wife and his daughter ran off. And it was because his wife had a miscarriage and he was very aggressive towards her. He beat her pretty much. And um, she, she ran away with his, with his daughter. But his wife had a miscarriage and he buried the dead fetus. And apparently there's some kind of spiritual, like, crazy shit that happens in this game where when a fetus is, you know, thrown away type thing, it can come back as a botchling, they call it. And then that's like a demon. <laughs> it's just, it's a bit weird to understand. And um, now we're gonna, it's going to take us to where it was buried. And if we can find it, hopefully we can just, like, do some magic on it and bring it back to, like, put it, put it rest it to peace, rest it in peace. Otherwise, we'll have to find it. So we're going to speak to the guy and we're going to start the quest. Well... Ready? So let's do this. The sooner we resolve this, the better. Best do it tonight at midnight. Then wait here with me. Near midnight, I'll take you to where I buried her. Get word to the common folk. Ought to stay in their homes tonight and draw a line of salt outside their doors. Do I take a shovel to dig up the grave? Take it. You'll need it, but not for that. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a weapon. So this same um, botchling is gonna probably be quite deadly. We read the bestiary before we started the quest in the last video, and um, the weak to the mind control sign. So we're gonna try and use that and see if we can kind of possess it some way and like grab it. I don't know. A bit further, follow me. All right, you lead the way. Has he got a shovel? It doesn't look like he's got a shovel. Child, a name? No. Why would we? Mistake. Names are powerful seals. There's a lot of voodoo stuff in this game. I didn't realize. Here's the spot. There we go. Chose a lovely spot. Damn it! Will you relent? I'm plowing now. I've done wrong. Good. The graves dug up and empty. What's that mean? Botchling's on the prowl. Botchling. Oh my god, is that it? It's, this is messed up. Look. It's big, isn't it? Is that that's the uh, umbilical cord? Oh, oh my god! It looks like he's been starved of oxygen. Like on Total Recall when Arnold Schwarzenegger goes to space. Attack the monster, turn it into a Lubican. I think Lubican's better. Take it in your arms, quick. But if it goes Garrity, it'll bite us in the arse before we know it. Keep screaming and it will turn rabid. It's calm for now. Bloody hell. What happens when it gets plowing restless? It'll bite through your jugular and you'll bleed to death before I can help. Tell me if it starts wriggling, I'll calm it with magic. Pick it up. Take it in your arms. So he, he told us in the last video as well that he doesn't want us to kill it, so that's why I chose that option. To turn it into a lubricant. Holy shit! That's not human, that, is it? Back to the fortress. Let me get this sign ready in case I need to use it. As I recall, you were the one wanted to test the old legends, change it into a lubricant. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is quite funny, actually. Um, so I think if he goes a bit mental, I've got to use the sign to um, stop it from, like, killing him. Or biting his face off. Look at it. He should have brought a blanket and wrapped it up so he's not, like, loose, constrict it a little bit. Is in a way, in a very disturbing, crazy way, it's kind of cute. I think it's the big eyes that makes it look a bit <laughs> innocent, you know. It's really cool, though. All right. What the fuck? Um. Okay, so let's. I think magic trap is the best one to use against them. Oh god! Oh god! I used the um, the mind control sign, it didn't work. I'm gonna try and put the sign down and then 
And now we'll attack him. It's because they're weak to it now. Alright, we've got them. There's still two more. Whoa. They're doing quite a lot of damage. Alright, I'm going to step back a second and up the inventory because... We've got water in the consumable slot, and it, it heals for shit. So I'm gonna put some um, some meat in there. If we can find it, there we go. Put this in there. Equip there. All right, well I drop back now and eat this. Damn it. Holy crap! Okay. Yeah, see how much better that meat heals. My health's flying up. Right, I did, I did the spell there. That worked. That's good. Quiet now. But, but what do you want to do with it? Me? Nothing. This is your job. Told you, gotta bury it under the threshold. The tales are true. By tomorrow it'll be a lover game. From then on, it'll watch over your house and help me find your family. So if we convert it into a lubricant, um, it will help us find the rest of his, his, his wife and his daughter. So we don't know where they've gone still. This is very... It's, it's, oh god. Can I use the spell? I cannot attack this target. Okay, I used it. It didn't work though. I think I used it on the, um, the wraith. Holy shit, how many are there? Let me just put this sign down and we'll back up a bit. Alright, eat some food, back up a bit, put the sign down, come at me. Alright, we've got two of them there. You can't block them properly. You block the first attack, then they get through the rest of it. Quite hard to um, defend against. I think there's one more left. That was too much, actually. Come on. Yeah, you can't hit them unless they're in that um, sign. See, like, he was. My sword was going through him then. Alright. Use the axe sign. There we go. Chosen a name? No. So think of one. It's important. It's it's a girl. What would Anna have named her? Um, Chelsea. Stephanie. <laughs> I don't know. Let's name it after the new royal baby, Charlotte. There we go. All right. So have we made it. Are we clear of all the wraiths? So is it now a Lubbockin? Or what? Oh, 
What now? In one day's time, Dea should turn into a lubberkin. Okay. I'll stay here and wait. You go home. I'll wait with you. Out of the question. But that's my child. And the guilt, the responsibility for all this lies with me. Time for parental impulses? It's long past. Besides, nothing else you can do here. But... No buts. Just Witcher's work left to do here. Gotta wait a day and a night for the botchling to turn into a lubberkin. That's it. Go home. And try not to drink yourself stupid again. Summon the lubberkin where the botchling is buried. Do, do I just um, have to meditate now and wait? Sit and wait. Here we go. Get comfy. It's raining as well. I'd sit under the shelter if I was in. This is midnight. By blood's power, I summon you. With your name, I beseech you. Hear my call and arise, Dea. Has he done this before? He seems to know what he's doing. Lead me to those bound to you by blood. Okay, so we're going to use this now to find the wife and daughter because they're bound by blood. Is it? Is that what a lubberkin is? Yeah, it says follow the lubberkin. That's the quest. So it has um, changed. So is this like inside the village or is it going to be miles away? I've got a feeling once we step outside we'll probably need to jump on the horse. I think we just jump on the horse now actually. It's here. It probably moves faster as well, the faster you go. See, like, we're not really catching up to it. If we start galloping... Oh no, it doesn't go that fast, that much faster, actually. Never mind. Why can I not go for the wall, the door? Faster. Oh god, get off. It's a bit glitchy, this, sometimes, the horse. Let's get to the, the field, the grass outside, and then we'll summon the horse. You know what, I think the speed it's going now, it doesn't go any faster when you're on the horse anyway. Oh shit, hello. Just avoid that, just run, run, run past them, we don't need to kill them. Oh, hello. I think kind of um, enemies have like an aggro range as well, if you drag them away from where they started. They um, run back, they evade, like you would in a MMO. Let's just switch this to a Quen while we, while I remember to. Oh, he's turning backwards. Is it here? Ugh, sure wasn't lavender they kept in there. Might be worth looking around though. Search the area around the smokehouse using your witcher senses. Horseshoe. No way a pitch burner could afford a horse. A bracelet. One of them must have dropped it. Alright, so the horseshoes here, that must have been them when they were travelling and running away from the Baron. What's this? Clothing. They change in here. Both were here. I'm going the right way. Why would you leave all your clothes outside? Like, <laughs> I don't like that. That's weird. Um, so follow the lubricant. Okay, so they stopped. They stopped here. Me something more. And um, they must have gone further somewhere else. Okay. So he's like, okay, I'm, I need to. <laughs> I don't need to hold the Witcher button anymore. So he's kind of telling us a story of what happened. He's not taking us directly to them. God, come on, go a bit faster. It looks like we're heading into a swamp. There's some enemies here. We're we'll trying to avoid them if we can. We might not need to kill them. Actually, the lubber can stop there, so we need to kill these. These things explode, I think, when you take enough damage. Do enough damage to them. Look at him, he's going to explode now. Yeah, and that one's going to explode as well because he took the damage from the other one. Oh, we got more? What? Whoa, hello. So it looks like the Lubberkin is on the other side of this bridge and he's just waiting for us. Whoa. Dive! 
So examine the dead horses. Okay, so before we do that, we'll um, how many lubricants are there? Uh, not lubricants. These guys, what are they called? Rock beans. Oh shit. Hopefully it's the last wave of them, because it keeps summoning. Run! Jesus. Alright, no more? Oh, there's one actually over there. Let's see if we can just do this quest while we're here. Examine this, because he's quite far away. What do we have here? Bones. Bones have been here a while. Saddle. Chewed on the saddle. Necrophages will eat anything these days. Ribs. Giant claws. Wasn't a necrophage made these marks. So they've been attacked, haven't they, on the road? Horseshoes missing. Is this the animal that lost one in the smokehouse? Head torn clear off. Takes incredible strength. Is this another werewolf? Must have been attacked by a powerful beast. Surprised him. Hope they got away. God, we've been doing this quest for ages on. now. Good thing it doesn't end here. Trying to find this wife and kid. Like a, a lot of these quests in this game are like finding people. We've done one where we get to find a, a fella's wife, and it turns out the fella was a werewolf and he killed his wife. And the main quest is finding Siri. Oh god, there's a dog chasing me. <laughs> get the sword out. Ow! I didn't mean to put that down. Oh, level 7 from killing a wolf, nice. Let's get some more food off these if we can. The tallows. They don't, they don't give you any health, they're just for alchemy. Another wolf here. Alright, let's get on this. Yeah, like I was saying before, the wolf attacked me. There is a lot of quests where you're just constantly finding people, even the main quest. Like for the story, is finding Siri. Um, but they are done quite well, you know, it's not like they just copied and pasted. They do have stories within them, and they, they lead to crazy things happening. I mean, like this botchling thing, Lubbockin. It's pretty type. crazy. Seems she wants me to take a closer look. So let's go inside here, see what we can find. Seek here, sir. Our hut's out of the way. Woeful. We has nothing. We knows nothing. Just need information. Looking for two women, the Bloody Baron's wife and daughter. Not a soul have been here, sir. Sure, not even passing through. Daughter's medium height, about 20. Her mother's thin, about 40. Seen them? That sir came at night, right, Mummy? Quiet boy. What, last night? Girl who stayed with you, what happened to her? Who do you see? Describe her. Let's see what happened to her. Where'd the girl go? Your son said enough. No point in playing dumb anymore. Sorry, sir, but you don't look like one of her father's men. Because I'm not. I'm looking for Tamara and her mother. I need to know if they're alive and safe. Tamara is high. She's to my brother's place in Oxenford. But Mrs. Anna, that's another tale. Though anywhere's better than to crow's perch with a baron. Why? Cause, cause he beat her, sir. Beat Mrs. Anna, I mean. Everyone knew, but not a one lifted a finger for to stop it. So where's the wife then? Did he say that the daughter's safe? But where's the wife? What happened to Tamara's mother? Ah, uh, we're like this. I was awaiting in the old smokehouse with horses. Cold as hell and so dark, couldn't see past two L's in front of you. The moon had risen high, and still they hadn't come. Began to fear some demon had snatched them. But finally, they came forth, and we set off towards the river. Suddenly, out of nowhere, a gale arose. Thought it'd tear my head off. And those damned birds, swarms of them coursing o'er the woods, raising a racket to make your ears bleed. Mrs. Anna screamed, bent over into herself. Tamara knelt down, gripped her arms. 
For then I saw it. Fiery marks on her hands. What does that mean? Tell me about these marks. What happened next? Why did you help them? So what are these marks? Is it like a certain demon or something or what? What marks? These... Well... Like burned on with hot iron. On the palms, inside. Burned? Like a cattle brand? Aye. No, these wasn't black scars scabbed over. They's hot and glowing. As if they burned with raw fire. Alright then. Let's see what happened next. I'm not sure if we need to ask these questions, but let's just do it anyway. Fine. What happened next? Grew even darker. Seemed someone had put out the stars. Crickets all went silent of a sudden. And then, from the woods, a roar. Broke out in a cold sweat. And before I could catch my breath, a beast jumped out of the woods. Big as a barn with horns and two burning coals for eyes. I thought I was done for. Beast attacked Mrs. Anna's horse, ripped its head off, carried her off into the woods. Our horses, mine and Miss Tamara's, got spooked and tore off willy nilly. It was the only reason we escaped. The miss wanted to go back for her mother, but my wife pleaded, said she'd die out there alone. Miss Tamara agreed not to go. Alright then. So thanks for your help. We don't need to know why you helped them. Thanks for your help. The lady, she'll be all right in the end, won't she? I'll do what I can to see that she is. So talk to the Baron about his family, find Tamara, the Baron's daughter in Oxenford. Stop pushing me, kid. Um. Oh, the Lubbockans doing something. So here our paths diverge. Thank you, Dea. Go in peace. <laughs> the face. Why is, the, why is the tongue so big? Alright guys, that's all we've got time for for this video. Um, this quest has been going on for quite a long time, Family Matters. This Baron um, quest chain. The nearest thing to do right at the moment is talk to the Baron about his family. And then, if you look at that, find Tamara. That's like 1,400 feet away. So that's quite far away. I don't know, I think it's probably better to go to the Baron first. Because he's closer. And then we'll make our way to Tamara in the next video. So, thank you for watching guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.